Good morning children Sai Ram how are you all I hope you all are doing fine and staying safe Welcome back children in EST's online class In our previous class we have already started a new chapter from your science book that is chapter 13 the earth right In our previous class we have already discussed these two topics So before we start let's take a quick recap So in our previous class we have discussed the layers of the earth and the shape of the earth so earth is the only known planet in the solar system where life is known to be exist right earth is at the right distance from the sun and has right mixture of air heat water which makes life possible on earth so when the earth was formed it was a big ball of dust and gases and earth was very hot and there was no life on it as the years went by as the year passed the outer part of the earth cooled down okay the outer part of the earth cooled down and the cool rocky outer part of the earth is called the crust that means we live in the outer part not inside the earth okay so this is where we live we live in the outer part which is which is cooler that outer part of the earth is called the crust and this is where we live we live in the crust okay the outer part not inside the earth okay not inside the earth so crust is the thin outer layer of the earth where we live and crust varies from around 5 km thick in the ocean floor to around 70 km thick on land where we live called the continental crust The continental crust is made up of rocks that consists primarily of silica and alumina called the CL. Now, now comes core. Core, core is the inside of the earth. Okay, inside of the earth is still very hot. Okay, the inside of the earth is still very hot, and the center of the earth is called the core. The center of the earth is called the core and it is a ball of hot metals and it is the hottest layer of the earth core is the hottest layer of the earth it has two parts outer core and inner core outer core the earth's outer core is made up of iron and nickel and is very hot this is so hot that the iron and nickel metals are in liquid form the outer core is very important to earth as it creates something called a magnetic field the magnetic field the outer core creates goes ways out into space and makes a protective barrier around the earth that shields us from the sun's damaging solar wind okay then inner core earth's inner core is made up of also iron and nickel only just like the outer core but it is different from inner core how sorry uh, it is different from outer core how the inner core is so deep within the earth that it's under immense pressure okay so much pressure that even though it is so hot it is solid there iron and nickel are in liquid form right but here inner core is so deep that it is under immense pressure so it is so hot that it is that the metals are in solid form not in liquid form so inner core is the hottest part of the earth and at over 5000 degrees celsius is about as hot as the surface of the sun okay then mantle the part of the earth between the crust and the core is the mantle between the crust and the core is the mantle it is made up of hot rocks and mantle is much thicker than the crust at almost 3000 km deep it's made up of slightly different silicate rocks with more magnesium and iron so the lava okay the vol from volcano lava comes out right hot liquid rock that lava is actually a hot melted rock and it comes from the mantle it comes from the mantle now the shape of the earth earth appears to be round right earth appears to be round like a ball however it is not perfectly round it is slightly flattened at the top and at the bottom okay it is slightly flattened at the top and bottom so ast astronauts have seen the earth from the space and it looks like a blue ball from there 
okay blue color why because blue color blue, uh, the blue color is because of the oceans and seas all right because because oceans and seas are in more quantity than land about 70 to 71 percent okay so that is the reason why our planet earth appears blue from the outer space now today in today's class we will going to discuss the spinning of the earth and the movement of the earth around the sun okay so now let's begin see children what can you see in this picture in this picture you can see a ball spinning around a pencil and a spinning top you all have seen this spinning top right so it's a kind of toy okay so what you can do children you can take a plastic ball and push a pencil through it just as shown in the picture now you can make the ball spin spin means to turn around quickly you have seen how top turns around quickly in the same way you have to do with the pencil and the ball okay you have to take a top and spin it just as shown in the picture so it spins like the ball okay both will spin like spin same so but in spin there is no pencil going through it right but then also it spins like a ball only okay it takes a turn quick uh, it takes a turn it turns around quickly it turns around quickly so this is what our earth does okay so this is what our earth does it spins continuously around an imaginary line okay so earth spins continuously around an imaginary line okay earth spins continuously around an imaginary line imaginary line means something which is not real something which we cannot see but it is created in our mind okay so earth spins continuously around an imaginary line the imaginary line that passes through the earth center is called the axis that imaginary line is that passes through the earth center is called the axis is called the axis the spinning of the earth around its axis is called rotation when earth spins around its axis is called rotation is called rotation okay here you can see this is what rotation children earth you can see this line here this line is you can say a imaginary line that imaginary line which passes through the earth center is called the axis so the spinning of the earth around its axis is called rotation is called rotation the spinning of the earth causes day and night okay children the spinning of the earth causes day and night that means when earth uh, spins around its own axis it causes day and night at any time only one half of the earth faces the sun thus only the part of the earth that faces the sun gets light and the other parts remains in dark in this way day and night occur as the earth rotates day and night follow each other okay day and night follow each other here you can see the picture this one is this is torch light so where the rays of the torch is going at that part that part is facing day and where there is no light that part will face what night so this is how earth also do okay when earth is spinning around its own axis so where the sun will get the rays that area will be will be day and the other part will be night okay so what will happen children if earth will not spin if earth will stop spinning what will happen there will be no day there will be no night so spinning of uh, there will be the part where the sun where the part where the sun rays are getting that part will always be day and the other part will always be night okay so spinning of the earth causes day and night and as the earth rotates day and night follow each other okay so it takes 24 hours for the earth to complete one rotation so 24 hours means one day one day so it takes 24 hours for the earth to complete one rotation okay that is why it makes a whole day one day 
so this is why one day and one night make up 24 hours make up 24 hours okay so this is how so where the part the part where the sun rays are getting that part will be day and the other part will be night okay and and earth spins okay the spinning of the earth around its axis its axis is called rotation is called rotation around its axis axis is what children axis is a imaginary line imaginary line right so here you can see the picture another picture where the light rays are there that part is day and the other another part is night so this is what happened when the earth will start spinning when earth will spin then what will happen this part will be night and this part will be day okay so this is how when the uh, so as the earth rotates day and night follow each other follow each other okay now see children these this is a picture of a solar system right all these planets all these planets what all these planets do all these planets orbits around the sun that means that means move around the sun okay move around the sun now the earth while spinning on its axis also goes around the sun that means earth does not only spins around its axis does not only rotate around this around its axis as well as earth spin on its axis and also goes around the sun okay also goes around the sun the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution is called revolution rotation is spinning of the earth around its axis around its axis that is rotation which causes day and night and the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution is called revolution so the earth takes one year that is 365 days to complete one revolution that means earth takes whole one year to complete a one round of sun okay that means one year complete one revolution around the sun around the sun that is 365 days while going around the sun the earth follows a fixed path okay the earth follows a fixed path like the like uh, the in rotation uh, in rotation also earth follows a fixed path the imaginary line axis in the same way when going around the sun the earth follows a fixed path the imaginary path of the earth around the sun is called the earth's orbit is called the earth's orbit okay is called the earth's orbit the revolution of the earth causes the seasons the revolution of the earth causes the seasons that means we have summer season winter season rainy season autumn season spring season all these seasons are because of revolution because of revolution okay because of revolution so here you can see in the picture this is the picture of the earth's revolution around the sun this is how earth revolve around its sun as well as spins also okay spins also and revolves revolves also now see children when earth is spinning why don't we feel feel that spin why don't we feel that and spinning means turning around very quickly why don't we feel that spin this is because everything in in the on the earth including us including you including me spins along with it okay we also spins along with it so even the air moves with it so that is the reason why we don't feel the spinning of the earth okay we don't feel the spinning of the earth so this is the picture of revolution earth's revolution around the sun okay here you can see in the picture okay there uh, 
how earth is revolving around the sun and in the same way season is changing in the same way season is changing so in december solstice december 21 22 winter right then spring summer autumn so this is how when while earth revolves around the sun the seasons change okay and when you will go to higher classes you will learn about this okay children so rotation spinning of the earth causes day and night right and spinning of the earth around its axis is called rotation as the earth rotates day and night follow each other and it takes 24 hours for the earth to complete one rotation this is why one day and one night make up 24 hours make up 24 hours then the earth while spinning on its axis also goes around the sun the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution and earth takes one year that is 365 days to complete one revolution around the sun around the sun and while going around the sun the all earth follows a fixed path and that fixed path that imag imaginary path is known as orbit is known as orbit the revolution of the earth causes the seasons causing the causes the seasons okay now fill in the blanks first the spinning of the earth on its axis is called dash the spinning of the earth on its axis is called rotation rotation second dash is the imaginary line along which the earth spins axis is the imaginary line along which the earth spins third the dash is a fixed path on which the earth revolves around the sun the orbit is a fixed path on which the earth revolves around the sun fourth the earth takes 365 days to complete one revolution around the around the sun last fifth the rotation of earth on its axis causes dash and dash causes day and night rotation causes day and night revolution causes seasons six the side of the earth which faces the sun has day and the other part will have night night okay so children go through the chapter again read the chapter again okay sairam children have a good day